my returns are extremely complex, and I'll make a determination at the right time. I'm in no rush to do it. Nobody's been bringing it up except for Mitt Romney, and the reason he brings it up is that he lost in the last election and lost very badly. So I don't know why he's bringing it up, but tax returns are very complicated. I have many, many companies. I have, you know, tremendously, you know, I have a very complex system of taxes. Well, take a swing at the Donald, and he's punching back. He didn't think he was going to let Mitt Romney challenge him on his tax returns without a counterpunch. Now, despite all the opposition, Donald Trump is the clear leader for the GOP nomination. He sits atop the primary polls in every state coming up on Tuesday, save for Texas, where we talked about Ted Cruz having a slight edge in his home state. And when you're the leader in the clubhouse, it can be expected that everyone's chasing you has their crosshairs square in on your back. So will Donald Trump be the target tonight on that debate? stage in Houston. The debate, the last chance for a Trump takedown before votes are cast in more than a dozen states. And let's go around the dial. Welcome nationally syndicated host and founder of EpicTimes.com, Jerry Doyle. Jerry, how you doing? Good, Rick. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks. Targeting Trump, it's going to be a strategy of many tonight. That's my guess. But many Trump supporters tend to stand with the Donald through thick and thin. Do you see a gang up on Trump's strategy working against him tonight? I started, I started right at the beginning with the first Fox News debate when they asked for the raise of the hands to take the pledge that you'll run as a Republican. And I thought the Fox News went out of their way to try and cut Donald Trump's legs out right from the beginning. But for whatever reason, um, he continues to survive. And what I've seen over the last couple of months is I've watched the GOP establishment try and tighten their noose, their stranglehold on the status quo. And when I look at the last thing from Mitt Romney saying there could be bombshells in Donald uh, Donald Trump's taxes, look, if you're a team player, you say to Donald, hey, look, I screwed up with my tax returns when I ran in 2012. I got slimed by whorehouse Harry Reid, the senator out of Nevada. Do yourself a favor, get your taxes in order, and get them out there. But that's not what it's about. Mitt Romney is trying to slime Donald Trump the way Harry Reid slimed Mitt Romney because Mitt Romney is a backer of Marco Rubio. So when you take a look at everything that's being done now behind the scenes to try and squeeze Donald Trump out, I'm dangerously close to supporting Donald Trump. Not for the reason that the people who support Donald Trump support Donald Trump. I don't trust him. I don't like him. I don't think I'll ever like him. I don't think he's going to do close to any of the things that he says that he's going to do. Unless I see him at Home Depot buying blocks and mortar, there's no wall that's going to be built on the southern border. But let me put it to you this way. When I look at how people got squeezed out at the Republican convention, the Democrat convention, how the voice of the people was squashed by the establishment, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And at this point, I'm dangerously close to getting behind Trump because I don't like the way the system is rigging it yet once again for the benefit of the system at the expense of we the people. Jerry, that is a fascinating endorsement if it does come to pass. So, but yeah, I wanna... it's not a, we, we called the Trump campaign and said, look, he doesn't like you. He doesn't <laughs> trust you, but he's thinking about endorsing you. And they're going, huh, let me have to think about that one. <laughs> the so unendorsement weird... endorsement. I love it. Yeah, but exactly. I want to I stay in this Mitt Romney thing because it's my feeling tonight that guys like Cruz and Rubio, they're going to kind of piggyback on what the 2012 nominee had to say, and they're going to go at him about these tax comments. What are your thoughts? Uh, uh, they have to at this point, because right now, Rens Priebus is in a room with the extra long sleeves tied behind the back. Carl Rove is bouncing off the walls like a mental patient. The establishment is trying to figure out how do you solve the problem like Maria named Donald Trump, and they're not exactly sure what to do. So I guess they figure if they do a one-two punch with Rubio and Cruz, and they gang up on Trump, and somehow they can cut his legs out, then the real battle begins between Marco Rubio and uh, and, uh, and and Ted Cruz. But I, I live in, in, in Nevada, and I got to rethink my lifestyle because the last two winners out of the caucuses in Nevada were Mitt Romney in 2012 and Donald Trump in 2016. None of them smoke, none of them drink, none of them gamble. <laughs> and they both leave Nevada the big winner. I got to rethink what I'm doing. But the Republican Party has to rethink what they're doing because if they think ganging up on Trump to take Trump out, and then you're going to have the better of two left standing between Rubio and Cruz. There's a lot of bad news that's out there for the GOP, the establishment, the gatekeepers of the status quo. Yeah, I didn't think about that so much for Sin City. All right, we got about 30 seconds. I want to ask you about Marco Rubio. He seems to understand right now he's got to start hitting Trump. He's kind of questioned his conservative credentials in the last couple of days. What is the Rubio strategy tonight? 
uh, do whatever the establishment tells him to do. That's his strategy because he's a puppet of the establishment and the established wants Marco Rubio. And that's the reason you see in the circling of the wagons to try and undermine Donald Trump. And we got some more time, so let me just ask you about Cruz. Those two have been going at it, Cruz and Rubio. Do they now got to start of taking more aim at Donald Trump? And, and do you, are you expecting a lot of punches tonight? Um, uh, yeah, I, I love that. I love chaos. I mean, I, I want to <laughs> see a battle in the ring. I want to see an offensive game rather than a defensive game. And I hope that they actually go at it and really start doing some of the things that they said they should have been doing all along. But at this point, you know, I've said on your program before, I said it, for Hillary Clinton, she could slaughter a puppy in front of a PETA office on the six o'clock news and she'd get a pass. I'm not so sure if there's anything right now that could come out about Donald Trump that would undercut his momentum. All right. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Jerry Doyle, you can head for EpicTimes.com. We're coming right back.